Hello, Sweet Tooth here. I hope your day is going well. I'm going to Matata. Let's play some Dengen Rampa. Alright. Load game. Man, it's kind of hard to tell which one I actually saved over. You know, me just looking at the date itself. It's like I gotta read the 21 and say it's 21st of February 2016 underscore the time and date. I know it's this one. I'm just saying. Reading the time kind of makes me uh, not sure. The game will begin from where you had last left off. Is this okay? That is fine. Why would I expect any differently? What I would hope it would do. Oh my gosh, so much to look at. Just an everyday trash can. I don't see any kind of trap door or hidden compartments or anything. What is that? This must be the key to the room. My name's written on the keychain. Which means it must be mine, right? I'd better hang on to it for now. Sure thing. Buddy. There's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall which says Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lock picking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Punk. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at night time. The water is turned off at night time. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' rooms include a lock of their own. Finally, we've prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. And for the boys, a toolkit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls! What? For the boys, we believe a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. What? Don't think, just feel. Let's all enjoy ourselves. I crumpled up the sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. I would do the same. I'd be like, screw that. Some kind of monitor. Ugh. Some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves? Probably. There doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed. This would appear to be the bathroom. Rattle, rattle. Huh? It's not opening. I guess it's locked. Why would my own bathroom be locked? Oh, right, yeah, I remember from this. Yeah, I remember. Never mind. Not gonna say anything about it, just in case nobody knows. There's some kind of metal plate mounted here. You already noticed that kind of thing before, didn't you? Surveillance camera. I hate the idea that someone might be watching me right now. We're not allowed to mess with the camera, so I'd better make sure I don't touch it. It's a notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. Well, I can look in here. It looks like there's something in the drawer. It's a toolkit. It must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. Okay, I'm done. Unless I gotta look at the plant or something. Looks like this door leads out. It's locked. So some of the rooms have locks, huh? I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be... 
sleeping anywhere other than the dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. This is my assigned dorm room. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers that question. The next question is, what's everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out. And that's to get out of here. Oh well, yeah, you gotta get out the door. Yeah. I thought it was locked. I guess he used the key. I rushed out of the room to meet up with all of the others. But there was someone waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. A fist? Oh, Sayaka. So sorry, are you okay? I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? Mm hmm. You make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. That's good then. But are you okay? You know from when Mondo hit you. That's true. I got knocked right, right there in front of everyone. It was glamorous. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. That means I'm awesome. And I'm hip. Makoto? Oh, uh, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. Oh, that's good. I was kind of worried. So thanks. By the way, what are you doing here? Actually, I came to get you. You came to get me? Well, if you really are feeling better, I was hoping you could come to the dining hall. The dining hall? After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. So we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we each find out. And personal feelings. So does that mean it's almost time to get back together? Brown chicka wow wow? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. Good. I'll go on ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. That's it. Go together. That's not together. That's you. By yourself. Where am I? Cute pictures. Cute pictures, but this one's the best one. <laughs> I'm joking. Huh. Looks like there's some kind of nameplate. The doors themselves all look pretty much the same. Who's my roommate? Oh, Sayaka. And Kirigiri. Why am I put next to the girls? That's interesting. Everyone's meeting up at the dining hall. I should head there myself. What is that? Okay. So, what's this? 
Door won't budge, it must be locked. Huh. What's the point of having stairs if you're just gonna block them off? So that people don't climb them? Fire hazards? Laundry. That's the dining hall. Bath. You could too get in there. I could get in there. Come on now. Get over it, wimp. Oh, okay. I got it. Let's go meet everybody. This must be the dormitory dining hall. It looks pretty clean, so that's good. Alright, I guess it's not really important right now, with us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, that's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. How dare they. We don't really have much choice, I guess we should just wait here for now. Hmm. Okay, let's just wait here. Huh? You heard that? Like I said, I'm psychic. Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I just have amazing intuition. Is it really just intuition? It's kind of sudden, I know, but here comes the tutorial. Right now I'd like to talk about reactions. You're gonna be talking to Sayaka, right? Well, while you're talking to her, some purple words are going to appear. Here's how they work. Purple words. When purple words show up, if you press the right mouse button, you'll go into reaction mode. At this point, you can use the WASD buttons to make a selection in the left bus mouse button to confirm it. Really? Alright, so I'm going to do this blindly one time. I might come through it again. and Yeah, I'm going to do it blindly one time. I'll come through and I will, you know, pick the correct choices. I don't know. I'm just going to pick whatever choice comes to my mind. Is that okay? Hello? Anybody? No, I'm joking. Also, when it comes to that dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about to look for more info. Talking to someone about things like this is called a reaction. Okay, do your best to enjoy your ever-important school life. Reaction! You didn't say anything about left-clicking after right-clicking. You said nothing about right-clicking, and then left-clicking. I don't think. I don't remember. Ah, have you gone ahead and used it already? Well, that's just wonderful! Man, this, this tutorial is very nice. But that's actually how it's supposed to be for Japanese games. Make the player feel good. Make sure you keep, in my, keep it in mind as the story keeps on moving forward. Cardboard cutout. Surveillance camera. I hate the idea. What? What is that? This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on right now. It's just showing the school crest. I don't even want to think about when he might show up on that thing next. Well, why doesn't it show the moon crest? I'm not going to go wandering around, I'm just going to wait here patiently. Um, so, what time is it right now? What? 7 o'clock at night? You were unconscious for a pretty long time. I see. Without being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. 
If I have to stay in this place for too long, I might just go crazy! Let us something something makes Homer go something something. I don't remember the code, quote exactly, Shippa knows, I don't. By the way, Makoto? Huh? What is it? It's... Well, well, it's just... I know this is kind of continuing the self-introduction thing, but I wanted to ask you something. Zap! Continuing our self-introductions. We kind of got cut off before, but I had a question I wanted to ask you. Sayaka wants to ask me something. Wonder what it is. Now I'm really curious. What did you want to ask me? Mm. Makoto, did you happen to go to Black Root Junior High? Where you may be in class too? Y yeah, actually, I was. I knew it! I went there too! I was in class 4, though. Do you remember me? Do I remember? Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was that she remembered me! We never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. That's a positive. Hey, are you okay? Oh yeah. I'm just surprised. Is all? I wouldn't have thought you'd remember me. <laughs> we went to the same school for three years. Of course I remember. That, do that does not need to be a comma. That should be a period and a capital O. Well, that's true. But there were lots of students in our grade, right? Plus... I've never been the type of person to ever really stand out. I'm average at everything, and all my hobbies are totally normal. Even quote-unquote normal would call me boring. And that describes me perfectly. What are you talking about? You're so strange! S strange? That's... She started giggling even louder. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. The smile was the nicest smile I had ever seen. Anyway, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. Talking to you has made me feel a whole lot better about all of this. You're amazing, Makoto, for just existing in my little prison-like world. No, I'm really not. I'm nothing at all compared to you, all of you, quote-unquote, ultimates. Now I'm labeling all of you. But you're the one that helped me to find my courage again. Not any of those quote-unquote ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. And to thank you for helping me out, I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. Huh? My assistant? Yep, I'm your assistant now. I'm going to help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. When she says things like that, it... It just gets me pumped up. <laughs> Sorry. I can't believe no one's here yet. But I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like he timed it, Taka threw open the dining halls right as Sayaka said that. Yeah. Ah, Makoto! Sayaka! So you two got here first, huh? Not too bad. I was sure I'd beat everyone here. I guess it just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet! Well, I won't give up! Next time, I swear I'll win no matter what it takes! Justice shall prevail! That's a bit much, don't you think? And soon after that... Everyone else came strolling in one after another. After a few minutes. Everyone had gathered in a dining hall. 
よし全員揃ったようだなでは早速会議を始めようと思う OK it looks like everyone's here time to start the meeting お互い調査の成果を披露し合い情報を共有化しようではないか Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Wait, hold on a sec. What's wrong? What about, uh, what's her name? You know, the silver haired girl. Uh, oh yeah, Kayoko. What about her? She's not here. What? I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Did you look up? Maybe she's on the ceiling. I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? Maybe she's under the tables. Have you checked there? But everyone just shook their heads. Instead of looking in the cupboards like respectable seekers would in a hide and seek game. Wait, so nobody's seen her? Would you just look somewhere? Why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Maybe she's hiding. Could it be because... Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting, how you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. The rest is up to you. Give it all your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. Is it possible? Was she really? No. Shut up. No, no, I'm just overthinking things. Daughter Kyoko! You're really going to be late like this on your first day of school? Not only is she late, she didn't tell anyone she would be late. A most unbecoming personality trait. You're being a real jackass right now, you know that? Well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. Now then, I declare that the first session of the Hope's Peak Academy briefing meetings has begun. Makoto, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Okay, let's do that. You know... Huh? What's up? I feel like I really have become your personal assistant, don't you agree? Why are you blushing? I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I got. Why are you blushing? That's weird. No, you've already done so much as my assistant. Stop it. Stop it. Leon, you... Why do you look so surprised? Um... Wow, only, only her? Yeah, only her. Okay. Just making sure. Okay, so since you're in the dark about all this, let me lay out what's been going on. Everyone split up to investigate different parts of the building. You've already said that three times. But, by you... Kua and Taka each went off on their own, so did Kyoko. Where did this jerk go? I wanted to try and find some clue as to who's responsible for imprisoning us here. But unfortunately, I made no such discoveries. That's all from me. Really, that's it? <laughs> if I didn't cover anything, naturally I would have more to say, but I didn't, so I don't. Right, understood. Okay, just her still. I spent some time looking around the dormitory and... There made a discovery of the century! I found that there was exactly one room for each person! Well, yeah, I figured that out before anything else. Each door already has a nameplate on it, so I guess all the rooms have been assigned already. <laughs> and each room key was attached to a keychain with the owner's name, Persisen, etched onto it. Which confirms that the room I was in earlier is, in fact, my room. We already know this. 
and Chihiro, and I found out that all the rooms are totally soundproof. Your next door neighbor could scream their lungs out and you wouldn't hear a thing. That's not good. Well, each room also has a private bathroom, which could also lock. But it looked like there were only locks on the bathrooms in the girls' dorms. Huh? But when I checked my bathroom door before, it definitely seemed like it was locked. That's weird. I should double check that later. Okay, so they got a bunch of rooms ready for us. They're assuming we're gonna be here a while. Well, better to have than, than have not. At least we don't have to worry about surviving like wild animals. That can be all, can't be all you have to report, can it, Mr. Honor Student? That's all for my report. Let's move on to whoever's next. Only her. Okay, so since you're... Oh. Alright. Okay. It looks like Leon, Hero, Junko, and Chihiro all grouped up together. We went all up and down the school, double checking the windows in all the hallways and classes. We wanted to see if we could get into any of those metal plates that come off. And what happened was... Nothing. Not a damn thing. Couldn't get a single one to budge even a little. There wasn't any hope of escape anywhere. The school really has been totally cut off. This sucks. It really sucks! It sucks, 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 sucks! What the hell are we gonna do? God damn, calm down. You're starting to make me nervous. Only her? Okay. The same goes for Hina, Sakura, and Mando. Celeste, Tokyo, and Hufumi were left over, so they joined up. We thought maybe we could find some way to communicate with the outside, so we went looking all over. But we didn't find a thing. Sorry. We went back to the main hall, thinking maybe we could do something about that giant hunk of metal. But even with Sakura and me both, you wouldn't budge. We hit it with desks and chairs and nothing. It's hard as, like, metal. Well, yes, it is metal. Anyway, if we're gonna get out of here, it's not gonna be through there. I feel like I'm gonna, could just cry. But no, I have to hold it in. I have to manage my hydration. I should tell you what happened next. It has nothing to do with communicating with the outside world, but it's still worth worrying about. In both the school and dorm areas, there was a set of stairs leading up to another floor. But there were gates there, and we couldn't find any way to open them, so we couldn't check it out. In other words, at this point, we are only able to search the first floor. We can further assume that there is potentially something above the second floor as well. And if that's the case, there's at least a chance it may lead to a way out. If I am being honest, I can't quite say we acted as one. Rather, we did nothing as one. We spent the entire time in the gym. Honestly, we're not exactly the types that go running around to school like a gaggle of junior detectives. What the hell were you thinking, just sitting around the gym the whole time? Well, it's not like any of you invited me along. Nobody said, hey, come with us. I blame you for leaving me out. It's your fault. If you wanted to go with someone, you should have just said something. <laughs> mm. Forget it. I don't want to go anywhere with a dirty slut like you. Wow. Slut? Your mind is as thin as your body. You make me sick to my stomach. 
I don't even know how to react. How can you say something so awful to someone you just met? Alright guys, everybody just calm down, okay? All this stress is good, bad for your skin, you know? Yeah, it sounds like you two are so close now, you're fighting like sisters. I don't think that's what's going on, Sayaka. So that's what they have to say, huh? Then I guess I'm the only one left. Oh, you're the only one I kept keep clicking on. I went and had a look around the dining hall. I found the fridge. Perfect. Let's go to that fridge right now. In the back of the kitchen, and it was overflowing with all kinds of stuff. Hell yeah. Let's go there. I guess we don't have to worry about food at least. Man, that's where I'd be going. Sure, for now. But even with all that, there are 15 of us. How long can the food last? That's true. You can just eat sesame seeds or something. Huh? What am I, a parakeet? <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about it. All the food gets restocked automatically each day. At least that's what Monokuma said. You saw him? Yeah, he came out of nowhere while I was checking the fridge. Told me that and then disappeared again. The little scamp. He was so fast, I can't believe someone could have been moving him around with a remote control. A weaponized toy that can disappear from nowhere. I can't tell if we're supposed to be afraid or not. But was everything okay? He didn't try to, like, eat you or anything. Eat her? What do you mean by that? I mean, when you say eat, what kind of eating are we talking about? Come on, man. What the hell, fatty? You act like you're acting like some kind of sleazy drunk dude. Not like there's a good kind of drunk dude. Hey, stop screwing around, all of you. Are you still asleep or something? We're prisoners here. Could all just die any second. She's right. We can't be making stupid jokes right now. We gotta do something or. A voice cut through the noise, interrupting Mondo. You're all spending an awful lot of time yelling and carrying on. Mm. Wow. Do you really think you can afford to do so? Have none of you accepted the reality of the situation? <laughs> Kyoko, where the heck have you been? We already started the meeting without you. She didn't say a word. Instead, she just dropped a piece of paper on the table. Huh? What's this? It appears to be a map of Hope's Peak Academy. A map? But what the? Where did you find this? So. It doesn't matter where I found it. It does matter! You're really freaking us out right now! So. Never mind that. What does it mean? So. Just look at it. The building we're in right now is laid out in precisely the same way as Hope's Peak Academy. So what you're saying is, this really is Hope's Peak Academy? So. Well, in terms of its construction, yes. But it looks like it's had a number of strange renovations done to it. Renovations? I don't know all the details yet, all I found was details about the first floor. But then, this really is Hope's Peak. We didn't get kidnapped and taken to some other place. So stupid, it's not even possible! This is where the country's future elite are supposed to come and learn? But if this really is Hope's Peak, where are all the other students? Mm -hmm. Hey, come on guys. Let's just stop talking about all of this, you know, negative stuff. But aren't you worried? Things don't look good. Ooh. Worried? What's there to be worried about? I mean, this was all planned out, right? People in charge of Hope's Peak put this all together, right? <laughs> Man, if I got stressed every time something like this happened, I have ectoplasm shooting out of my mouth. Daddy. Ectoplasm? What's that even mean? You'd get possessed? Good things come to you those who wait, right? So we just gotta chill and everything will work itself out. <laughs> Why are you laughing? What's so funny? <laughs> I'm just happy, that is all. You see, splitting up to investigate was a good idea after all. <sighs> Haven't you been listening? Look around, what's a t total waste of time? 
didn't find a way out. I didn't find who was behind this. We still have no idea what, what's going on. Huh? Is it not crystal clear to you what is going on? It is perfectly obvious that we have been imprisoned in some secret location with no way out. None of us had any response to that. We didn't want to accept that reality, but it was staring us right in the face. You didn't have to go and say that. I was trying not to think about it. No, no way out. We're trapped here. What are we supposed to do? <laughs> it's very simple. If you want to leave, you just have to kill. Don't even joke about that. Everyone just calm down, please. We need to stop and think about what to do from here. There's gotta be something we can do. All we can do is adapt. Adapt to living our lives here from now on. Live here? Are you saying we should just accept it? A lack of adaptability is a lack of survivability. Survival is not based on who is the strongest or the smartest. It comes down to who can adapt. As someone who's come out on top more than once, I have a suggestion. Huh? What do you mean? We all understand that we are trapped here, which means we will be spending the night. However, you all remember the rule regarding nighttime, right? Nighttime is from 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Some areas are off limits at night, so please exercise caution. Sleeping anywhere other than a dormitory will be seen as sleeping in class and punished accordingly. So regarding this nighttime, I think we need to add a rule of our own. What do you mean? Going out at nighttime should be prohibited altogether. The school regulations do not actually tell us not to go out at night. I would like to make it official. Huh? But, but why? The way things are now, every time night comes, we will all start to get worried and anxious. We will all be afraid someone might try and come and kill us. What? <laughs> if we have to worry about the na that night after night for who knows how long, it will wear us down in no time. So you're suggesting we limit our activity and night is a kind of preventative measure. However, unlike the other rules, nobody can be forced to comply. We all have to agree to follow it. I see what you mean, but I think I can agree to that. It's like the little goth Lolita said. Without something like that, we're just gonna self-destruct. On behalf of all the men here, I agree to comply. Huh? You can't just decide to speak for us. <laughs> so everyone is in agreement. Good. <laughs> then if you'll excuse me. Huh? Wait, where are you going? <laughs> it is almost night time. I want to take a shower before it arrives. <laughs> so, goodbye. Living with pure elegance, Celeste left the dining hall. Bye-bye, Celeste. Her behavior seemed so natural, I couldn't imagine anyone even trying to stop her. So I guess it's pretty obvious where we go from here. We'll be spending the night, it looks like. <laughs> Adaptability. So Mr. Chairman, what's next? One person already left. Um, well, they would say we call an end to today's meeting. Like she said, it's almost nighttime anyway. We can reconvene here first thing tomorrow morning. Do we really have to stay the night here? We don't have a choice. We can't go for long without getting some sleep. So we have to just give up. That's all fine and good for today, but what do we do about tomorrow? Our only option is split up and look around again and let everyone know if we find anything. Yeah, okay, let's do that. They were done for today? Good, I'm exhausted. Screw you guys, I'm going home. With heavy movements, everyone headed off to their private rooms. Makoto, are you ready to call it a day? After all this dialogue? Yes. Yeah, let's go. So 
much dialogue. Is this really where I'll be staying for the foreseeable future? Oh, that's right, I should check the bathroom. For monsters! I mean, one more time before I go to bed. Only the girls' bathroom should have locks on them, right? Let's open it up. It's no use, it really is locked. Wrong net lock! Holy crap! Jeez! Talk about an overreaction! It's like you just saw a ghost or something! Like some kind of robot bear! Ghost! What are you doing here? Not good and angry! This is super duper majorly bad! So bad it's almost magical! Ultra magical lawful awful attack! In point of fact, I acknowledge that the bathroom in your room has a problem with the door frame! Wait, so the reason it won't open isn't because it's locked, the door just doesn't fit? Didn't you see the notice? What, can't you read? The bathroom's in the boys' rooms. Don't have locks! <laughs> uh, I mean, a lock on a boy's bathroom is kind of pointless, don't you think? <laughs> well, it's not pointless. Well, it's not that it's pointless, I guess. But I'm no expert on the booze and the bees and all that. <laughs> anyway, there's a little trick to opening this particular ill-fitting door. And that's what I'm here to teach you! Okay, ready? So you just... Gotta turn the doorknob, then lift it up while you pull. Go ahead, give it a try. Turn the knob and lift the door up while I pull. I've actually had a door that was kind of like this. When I did that, the door opened without a problem. See? It opened right up. Isn't that crazy, though? Your door's the only one that doesn't fit quite right. You're supposed to be the ultimate lucky student, right? But looks like you're not lucky at all! Anyway, I suddenly don't feel like being here anymore. Bye! Hey, wait! Damn it. Hmm. <laughs> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked. An entry at that point is strictly prohibited. <laughs> Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the big bud bed bugs fight. Fight. Man, bed bugs fight. Can you imagine that? There are bed bugs on your bed and they fight. Never mind, that was a weird thought. Looks like it's night time. We all promised we wouldn't leave our rooms now. All I can do now is try and get some sleep. While still mumbling to myself, I collapsed onto bed. My eyes closed almost immediately. It's not that I was ready for bed exactly, I was just utterly exhausted. From all this dialogue, it's it was as if I'd spent an entire day reading dialogue, staring at a TV watching movies. Or like some kind of illusion where I'd had to read a whole bunch of dialogue, where I'd been tossed into a made-up fantastical world. Yeah, that feels about right. There's no easy way to just accept the situation we've suddenly been dropped into. Not really, you can just accept it. So this is how the curtain closed on my first day at Hope's Peak Academy. Soon enough, I was asleep. Ha! 
How do you still have thoughts going off if you went when you went to sleep? You 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 would think the dialogue would stop when you said I fell asleep. Would it be too much to hope that when I woke up I'd realize it was all a dream? It's kind of lame as far as endings go, but I'd be fine with that. Actually, that'd be the best. In any normal school, Mr. Monokuma would be a kind teacher. But when I think about what's coming up, I'm just so full of pride and joy. Our ceremony earlier today was absolutely splendid. Thank you all very much. Remember that you're all students at Homespeak Academy and strive to refine your ideals. I I swear to you, I will send you all off into a new tomorrow! That sounds very strange. You know, I'm just gonna read his dialogue in my normal voice. Stop it. Stop trying to do all that. It's hurting my voice, anyways. It's hurting my throat. Good morning, everyone. It is now 7 a.m. and nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another beautiful day. Maybe that is my normal voice. Appar that is a happy sun. That is an extremely happy sun. Kind of mesmerizing. Swinging back and forth. Can't take my eyes off of that. Oh, wait. Um, oh, seriously, that's like a really, really happy sun. It's like if the awesome face beam was a happy sun. Um, okay, uh, dialogue. Stop staring. Okay, covered up my, my hand. Can't stop looking at it. Apparently it's morning, but thanks to the total lack of windows, there's no way to know for sure. Anyway, what should I do now? Okay, it should be okay. Maybe I should go find Sayaka and we can figure out where to go from here together. I said I heard her taking off for the dining hall by herself when she said we were going to go to the dining hall together. I mean, that's by yourself. That's not, that's not together. She did say she's my assistant now. He's decided I'm gonna head to her room. With a newfound determination, I left my room. Knife ready and attack! No, I'm joking. <laughs> Knife ready and attack. Alright, it was uh, F1. Then you go to... Presents. Oh, Presents. What? Oh, I remember... I think I remember this. That is, that is strange. Well, I can see where everybody else is. Well, that's interesting. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. I want to thank you for watching. Feel free to leave a comment. 
I hope you have yourself a good day. And this is Sweet Tooth signing off. I love you.